Hello friends, how are you? I hope everything is wonderful with you and as for me I am back home again finally after a strange ordeal of being hospitalized and in quarantine completely isolated for a week without seeing anyone or talking with anyone. All I had to keep me company was my cell phone and I've, I have read all your comments, your feedback, your support and that gave me a lot of strength to continue and to endure that, that strange week, that past week. And I want to thank you all for all that, all that support that you gave me and I never thought that there will be so many people caring about me. In fact, some, some of you, I never thought that um, you actually knew that I existed. And you gave me a lot of support, a lot of, a lot of comfort and love, and that was wonderful. On the other hand, there were people that I, I expected to give me some words of comfort and love, some friendship, and that didn't happen. But we, which is good, because now I know those uh, I can count on and those I don't. And, well, life move on, moves on. Well, this isn't a video about uh, how, how you should live your life to achieve happiness and peace. All of you have heard this before. We all know that. Uh, this is just a video to thank you for all your support and to tell you that from now on I will not worry about such petty things as, I don't know, as not eating maybe a cake because it's bad for my health. Because I'm, I'm a person who is always worried about something, always in great stress. And I'm also a person who sees negativity in everything. And I want to be the exact opposite, to see the positivity in things. And I really want to enjoy life much more. And to be happy, and to be at peace. <laughs> and one of the first steps will be eating something, some sweet. Uh, since I have became, uh, see, since I became a vegetarian, I, I put, I com have completely put aside cakes and chocolates and all those sweets. And well, <laughs> that doesn't help at all. So no more of that. Seriously. And as I was saying, no, guys, not now. Okay, no more sweets. Well, as I was saying. Um, this is just a video to tell you that I'm back, I'm back home, I'm slowly recovering and as soon as I can I will return to the videos and probably this, this weekend I will give you the first video of the runes. I will talk about the, the, the first rune on the runic alphabet, Feu. I know most of you have been waiting for that and I'm sorry, I was quite ill and hospitalized, as you know. And, well, now I will continue to do videos. And I want to thank you for your patience and for again for all the support. It was wonderful to read all that, all, all that love, all that caring. Uh, I want to thank all of you, uh, all the people uh, from from making your spells and uh, praying to the gods and lighting candles all the way to the people who, who are doctors and nurses and moved in this field of expertise and reached the Minister of Health and exposed my case and that's probably why I am here right now at home and not there still hospitalized um, well that that was wonderful that was amazing uh, although I, I'm still recovering but all the process was faster than usual <clears throat> I'm a bit sad because while I was hospitalized there was another person with with the measles uh, they still don't know if I had the measles although it I probably had the measles 
but I was uh, I had a, I had the vaccine um, the two vaccines and then uh, reinforcement so it didn't struck me like uh, as it it's supposed to so that's why I am still here because at the same st at the same time sorry <clears throat> at the same time uh, there was a person there, a seven-year-old girl uh, was also hospitalized with the measles and well she passed away while I was also there and that was a little bit scary um, and sad because she was so young and she died of measles because because the doctors couldn't reach her uh, faster and and they didn't know if she really had the measles and it, it was it was so similar to me yeah. this was really strange and shocking and but she perished um, because she wasn't vaccinated she did, she didn't have the vaccine and I had and I survived uh, my case of measles was just was something very quick and although I still have it in in my skin and it's slowly vanishing I have probably survived because of the vaccine and the girl had no chance the, the, without vaccines so I want I wanted I didn't want to touch this subject I just I just wanted to be a video of of thank you for your support <coughs> sorry but it's true I know that uh, there are a lot of you who don't want to vaccinate your kids and well of course everyone has their right to choose well in almost everything but when it comes to your your children your the health of your children well, the free, your freedom hands with their freedom. It's their lives. Their lives are in danger. And look, this is the best example I can give you. I was vaccinated. And the vaccine is not meant to prevent the, the disease to, to come and to... It, it doesn't prevent the disease to... To install itself in your in your body in your organism uh, it's supposed to help your your body to fight against the disease when it comes because it might come and it came I am I am almost 29 years old and it came usually comes to only to kids but it can come in any time in any age so you, you are not free from getting the disease but with the vaccine it will help you to defend yourself to defend your body to create antibiotics against the disease and here I am and that girl didn't have the vaccine and oh, ergo she didn't have the, the protection she needed to fight the disease and she died in a week it was pretty fast and well, I, as I've told you I didn't want to touch this subject because this is my personal opinion and I know there are a lot of people who think that they shouldn't vaccinate the kids and and I'm telling you please do one thing is your freedom your freedom of choice and another thing is the, f the freedom of your kids the, the freedom to choosing to be alive so I think you should really give the vaccines to your to your children as soon as possible to prevent such disasters to prevent such traumatic moments for the parents and for everybody for friends and everything Anyway, I hope I hope to continue to do more videos on YouTube and I will work on them 
right now so I can give you new videos especially the ones about the runes uh, this week I will try I will try very hard because as you know I am still recovering and it's a slow process and I'm still very very tired and all the pills and everything and all that <coughs> all those tests and blood tests and they even took a bit of my flesh to to go to to the laboratory to see what what I have so this was really strange and I barely slept as you might have imagined um, well this is it <laughs> I hope uh, I hope you have enjoyed all of my videos so far and I hope you will continue to enjoy them I hope to give you a lot of useful information as I want you to give me useful information because I, I like to exchange knowledge and once again thank you so much for your support for your love for caring thank you so much for your words of comfort and I really really appreciate it and I don't want this this video to be that cheesy <laughs> but it really touched me and it gave me a lot of strength so that's it for now and see you on the next video friends and thank you so much